Hi, in this video I'll just show you how to make login scripts. Login scripts are really important for giving us all those extra mappings that we often have when we log on. Um, you're aware of one mapping in place already, which if we go to Active Directory users and computers, we, we all know about. In, and that is in our profile, where we connect and we can pick a mapping. Um, I think I've got one already made here and you'll see that it, it goes to the server name backslash home backslash test. We've already covered that exercise but obviously sometimes we want more mappings so this is where we will need to make them. And so the first thing we need to do is make a share. And so we've already done similar exercises on the C drive of the server I'm going to make a new new folder and I'm going to call it shared. Now I'm going to share that folder, share and click share and then that's the share created for us but of course we need to put the permissions in as well. Uh, domain users don't have permissions this yet and so we go to properties, sharing, and advanced sharing and we'll need to put the permissions in. <clears throat> so we go to permissions we add domain users but we only want them to be able to read the shared documents folder we don't want them to do anything else so we give them read only access so we've now got our shared folder created so we just need to create the script creating a script is creating a batch file so old DOS style way of doing things so I'll create a new text document and I'll call it mapping and in that document I need to type in the command to map a drive which is net use and we we'll call this s for shared s colon and then it will be backslash backslash and this is called 2008 server one backslash and the share is called shared so I'll save that and but one thing we'll need to do as well is rename this to this to a dot batch file so we rename it to bat and then that, that's a batch file ready to go one thing to be aware of you may need to go to tools folder options view and hide file extensions so that you so that you're able to see what it, what file extensions to change it so without that without doing that first i wouldn't be able to see that this is a dot bat if i go to my computer i haven't got any mappings there if i double click this it's run successfully so I know my batch file works. I now need to put this in a location, this batch file in a location that all the users can access. And there is something already created for us by Microsoft in the C drive, Windows, and it's the sys file. And then it's the sys file because you can see it's shared. It's a hidden share for users to do this kind of thing. Sys file virtual is our virtual server and there's scripts <clears throat> so i'll type in mapping drag mapping up that into there and there's our map drive there so we've now copied that across so now we need to do now we need to open up administrative tools and we need to go to group policy management to create the mapping when the user logs on so to do that i've got my admin staff area. I've got earlier exercises of removing the control panel. So I'll create a new group policy object here and I'll call it map shared. I'll click OK. And now, now that I've done that, I'll need to edit it. I need to browse to the application. So we need it's going to be a user configuration. It's going to be a preferences in the Windows setting. No, it isn't. It's going to be policies 
and it's going to be a window set in. So it's policies, it's a window set in, scripts, and log, log on, log off. So I'll click log on, and now it's opened it up for me. So I click add, and I browse. But this time I need to browse to my server, not to the C drive. So I'll go backslash backslash server. No, it's not. It's it's two zero zero eight server one backslash, and you'll see I got the syslog there. Um, and I need to go to virtual. And we've also got scripts, and there I got the one that I made just now, mapping.bat. So it's mapped to the to the name. Bear in mind that other servers or other clients will need to log on and, and, and take their script. So if I browse to the C drive, you'd have a problem with it, it with the, the machine trying to get to a C, C share. So that's why we need to put the server name in rather than the share. So click OK. And we apply that. Click OK. And I've now created a group policy for, for that. So if I go to map shared and we go to settings, it'll create a report and it'll it'll show me that I've got scripts and it's called mapping.bat. So I've created that. Best thing to do just to speed the process up is to do a GP update force. And then we can we're now in a position to test this on our client. When our client logs in, they should get an S drive. And so I'll log in as my test account and hopefully we'll have a shared drive. Start computer and They don't, it hasn't picked up a share. And so when this happens, we need to go to run GP update again. forward slash force and that, that will disappear once it's run it and you see now it's got a shared drive once once all the machines every 15 minutes or so the machines receive GP updates so when you do make something on group policy Unfortunately, you do need to be a little bit patient. Um, now, now that this machine has two group policy already running it, if I log in again, and whilst that's logging in, if I go to the 2008 server, And I go to the shared and I make a new text document and call it test. And then I go back, my drive should have mapped, start, and I'll go to computer. And you'll see I've got an S drive, double click it, and I can see the test folder. So that's the procedure for creating login scripts. Um, just watch the video over it a few times and I think you'll agree it's a pretty straightforward process. Um, thank you very much for watching that video.